All right, Jack, huge win last night. What was it? The crowd was pretty nuts as well. What was it like um, winning the first final of the Jack Jumpers history? Yeah, it was unbelievable. The, the crowd showed up and they did not disappoint. And playing in front of that, that's what we dream of as kids. And now we want to, we're going to work very hard to try and get another one of those games this season. What was it like in the moment when the final buzzer sounded? It was good. It was kind of, for me, it was like, enjoy that moment for a brief second and let's move on. Like, we want to keep playing. We want to win this whole thing and that's our focus. And throughout the game, though, lots of ups and downs and lots of cheer and that's for sure. Uh, you stifled them early and then they got back on top a little bit in, in the third there. Uh, were there any moments where you doubted yourself uh, as a team going forward or what was the, the mentality when it got a bit tight towards the end there? No, nah, we've had great second halves this year. We learnt a lot from the, the first game. Uh, a lot of us first playoff experience and then uh, yeah, came out strong, stayed together and uh, pulled out a win with the help of the crowd. Two huge threes from you, from your late, from pretty day. Um, didn't seem like there was any hesitation to jack them up. Yeah, no, nah, I just felt good. I've been working on them the last couple of weeks, a bit of range, and I was like, what better game to test it out than, uh, <laughs> yeah, the first finals at home. So we got it done, and and we got it done. The boys are going crazy over there, but no, nah, it's good. We, we're glad they went in. What's the vibe around the team at the moment, Jack? No, nah, we love, we love going to work every day together. We love showing up. That's why we want to keep doing it. We have fun together. And uh, who doesn't want to go to work and have fun? What, what's Scott's message to the team been as you prepare to head to Melbourne in, in this must-win game? Yeah, well, we haven't actually talked too much since the last game, so that'll start tonight with film and everything. It was enjoy the moment last night, and we deserve to be here. We've, we've done the work, and we've, we've earned this right to go play in a game three all on the line uh, to bring it back home for the Jackies. What were some of the things you guys did last night that you didn't do in game one that you need to uh, do tomorrow night? Yeah, just physicality, uh, move the ball a little bit better. We made some adjustments. They're going to make some adjustments tomorrow. That's what great coaches do. And, uh, you know, we come out, we've got to be as sharp as we were at home. You seem to thrive being the energizer for the team. You love pumping the crowd up in your teammates. Um, how are you going to take that to, to Melbourne without without the Tassie crowd behind you, I guess? Yeah, of course. I still think there's going to be a few Tassie, Tassie travels well. Uh, but that energy instead of being outside and bringing in other people's in the huddles, you know, keeping those huddles tight, the bench locked in, you know, creating that energy from within is really important on the road. So how important is it making it the same in that you're just taking it uh, as a normal game rather than a big daunting game three tomorrow night? Yeah, definitely. It's you focus on the processes, not on the results. People say it all the time. You look up any, you read any book about success and that's what it writes, but it's hard to live, but that's what we've been trying to do all season building the culture a day at a time and we're going to do the exact same thing tomorrow. And uh, there was a coach's challenge with 90 seconds to go. How important was that um, in stopping United's momentum? Yeah, big time. Scott Ruff made that decision to pull the coach's challenge. I haven't watched it back yet, but, uh, you know, the refs had, had our back on that one and big time. You jump ball, which we lost, but then uh, could set up the defence and get the stop. How big was Mikhail in that last minute made two huge buckets? Yeah, he's awesome. He's been great. He's really found found his rhythm and he's someone we throw the ball to and say make a play for us and he's been coming out consistently the last couple of weeks and, and making big plays for us and, and being a, playing a bit of bully ball basketball. There was a whole lot more presence on the boards in general last night compared to game one. Was that a big focus in the later? Yeah, massive focus. Uh, I would say probably our biggest focus is not being dominated on the rebounds. They brought the energy game one and kind of controlled that area and it's hard to win playoff basketball if the other team's getting more possessions. You've touched on it already, but what's it going to take tomorrow night, I guess, to, uh, to get the W? Yeah, same level of physicality, staying together, enjoying the moment, uh, trusting the work we've put in, trusting each other, and then going out there and having fun. Are you confident you can do it all again without that huge home crowd? Yeah, I think so. Obviously, they were a huge boost, but uh, going out there and we feel like we're good enough to win this whole thing, and we can say that, but now it's time to go prove it. The crowd got under Joe Luell with your skin a fair bit last night. Um, what do you make of that personally? Yeah, he's a hell of a player. You know, he he's, was in the MVP top three for a reason. And, you know, the crowd rec recognises talent. And if there's anything they can do to help us win, they'll do it. And uh, it's awesome to be playing in environments like that. Whether you're getting booed or whether you're getting cheered, that's what athletes live for. Have you guys had time to reflect on how successful your season has been? Or are you more living in the moment, you'll, you'll look back at that once the season's done? Yeah, definitely no reflecting yet. We're, we're locked in. We want to bring this thing home. We want to win the whole thing. And we definitely want to play in front of the Jackies one more time. And that's our focus right now. And 
how hostile are you expecting the crowd to be in Melbourne tomorrow night? Yeah, it'll be good. It'll be Monday night. It's going to be popping. Uh, you know, whoever loses goes home and their off-season starts. And that's what we dream of playing and that's what fans dream of watching and their team winning. Thanks, Jack. Thanks, guys. No problem. Hey, appreciate it, guys. Right, we... So, go to Railway's meeting for a quick photo. Ah, Linda, I'm here, Fab. This is a super.